NVIDIA launches a mini AI supercomputer that could change computing forever. Microsoft shows that small AI models can outsmart larger models. And HubSpot's co-founder launches a new platform to build and share AI task agents. Welcome to Hashtag Trending. I'm your host, Jim Love. NVIDIA has unveiled Project Digits, a mini AI supercomputer that delivers one petaflop of AI performance at a fraction of the cost of traditional systems. Priced at, wait for it, $3,000, the device is powered by NVIDIA's GB10 system-on-chip, offering 1,000 teraflops of performance at FP4 precision. Now, to put that in perspective, when the NVIDIA DGX1 was launched in 2016 and used for ChatGPT's first models, it was the first AI supercomputer purpose-built for deep learning, designed for tasks like image recognition and natural language processing. Back then, it cost $129,000 and took up the space of a small server rack. Today, Project Digits would deliver roughly the same AI performance for less than 3% of the cost, and it would fit on your desk making high-performance AI computing accessible to a far wider audience. CEO Jensen Wong introduced what some are calling a replacement for Moore's Law and others are calling Jensen's Law, which suggests that it takes roughly eight years to reduce the price per AI performance metric by a factor of 25. Project Digits exemplifies this trend, bringing AI computing previously reserved for tech giants like Google and Microsoft to individual researchers and businesses. NVIDIA's strategy with digits is to create a competitive offering by making AI computing more accessible. This approach mirrors how companies like Microsoft and Apple built their loyal ecosystems. By making AI more available, NVIDIA ensures that developers remain on its CUDA platform. The mini supercomputer's standout feature is its FP4 processing, optimized for AI inference and delivering five times the performance of FP8. AMD, NVIDIA's closest competitor, hasn't yet introduced similar technology, but we can expect that to happen soon. Another reason why Jensen's company is moving so quickly in this area. NVIDIA's broader strategy? Disrupt itself before competitors do, keeping its lead in the AI space while redefining what's possible on desktops worldwide. Microsoft has published a paper describing a new technique called R-Star Math, which shows that smaller language models can outperform larger models like OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0 in math reasoning tasks. Using a method called Monte Carlo Tree Search, a combination of chain of thought reasoning and the multiple scenarios used in the risk management Monte Carlo approach, leveraging this, the smaller models simulate potential outcomes and make decisions step by step, but in the process learn and improve both their accuracy and apparently their transparency. Key innovations include a code augmented chain of thought, which allows the model to explain its reasoning using Python code, and it compares its reasoning and the Python code to detect errors, and in turn has a process reward model that improves the accuracy of the step-by-step -step solutions. Microsoft claims these smaller models achieve state-of-the-art performance without the massive computational resources required by the larger models. And although they sound like big numbers, these small models may have 70 billion parameters, but that compares with the 7 trillion parameters of larger models. And this can have a huge impact on data, power, and processing requirements. So where the concern with the larger models is the practical limits of scaling, how big can they get? The smaller models are offering a potential new path forward. And it turns out that these small models are showing the potential of not just being faster and more efficient, but more accurate and even, put it in the vernacular, smarter than their larger counterparts. For example, our star math boosted the accuracy of a smaller model from 58.8% to 90% in solving math problems. On the American Invitational Mathematics Examination, the models ranked in the top 20% of high school competitors. Microsoft's success challenges the idea that bigger is always better, 
and it could signal a shift towards a more efficient AI system that delivers high performance without the environmental and financial costs of massive systems. That, combined with the processing that NVIDIA is bringing out, could lead to the true democratization of AI. Hugging Face, a popular AI community, plans to release R Star Math on GitHub, but the code is still under review. One of the researchers behind the project said, the repository remains private for now, but please stay tuned. And Dharmesh Shah, the co-founder and CTO of HubSpot, has launched Agent AI, a professional network where users can build, customize, and share AI agents designed to automate tasks. The platform offers a marketplace of agents that can help with tasks like company research, competitor analysis, and website copy editing. Users can also create their own agents using the platform's agent builder tool, currently in beta. There's also a directory of human agents who can assist in providing services for AI implementation. Shaw believes that AI agents will become as common as web apps. In a blog post he predicted, in a year or two, it'll be as common to build AI agents to solve customer problems as it is to build web apps today. Agent AI aims to make task automation more accessible to business professionals, with examples including a company research agent that gathers data on competitors, a web page copy editor to improve readability, and there are many, many more. By making AI tools approachable, Shaw hopes to replicate the success he had with HubSpot, where simplified customer management became a key feature. The launch comes as businesses increasingly are turning to AI for automation. And Shaw's vision? A community-driven platform where users share and improve agents, helping businesses keep pace with today's rapid changes. And that's our show for today. You can find links in our show notes at technewsday.com or .ca, take your pick. You can reach me with comments, questions, or tips at editorial at technewsday.ca. I'm your host, Jim Love. Have a marvelous Monday.